For years now, anything religious in the public schools has been sanitized. In some instances, the schools have become totally secularized. Some people claim uh, they become atheistic. A case that really illustrates this point is the case of Nury versus Whitehead. It's a case where uh, at Washington High School's uh, wind ensemble group was asked to play a song at graduation, an instrumental with no lyrics or whatever. The 17 member group came up, they liked the idea of the song Ave Maria, not the one that everybody knows that everybody can hum. It's a, it's a different version, a classical version by Franz Babel, uh, which no one really knows the music to. The group came up, they liked it, they thought it was beautiful. They uh, were getting ready to play it. Uh, the superintendent of the school found out, and the words Ave Maria struck her kind of strange. She didn't even know what they meant. In Latin, they mean Hail Mary. But they sounded religious, so she canceled the song uh, for fear that it might offend somebody. Well, Catherine Nury, who was one of the members of the ensemble, thought her free speech rights, her freedom of expression rights, had been violated, so she contacted the Rutherford Institute for help, which then filed a First Amendment lawsuit. The case has now gone through two courts. Uh, a lower court, federal district court, ruled that basically it, the religious overtones might raise a uh, separation of church and state issue, but basically the decision was that if anybody's offended out there, could be offended, the same rationale the superintendent used. We don't want to offend anybody if they think something might be religious, so it has to be canceled. The case was lost in the first round. It was appealed to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals basically ruled, emphatically ruled, that if something offends somebody, schools can basically now uh, cancel them from programs. But mainly it's religion. Religion is the emphasis here. If something uh, religious, and we're, mainly we're talking about Christianity because other religions get some leeway in schools, but Christianity for some reason does not. It was a two to one decision in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. The dissenting judge, uh, Milan D. Smith said, and he was really concerned him, he says, hey, this is so minimally religious, I mean, you don't even know if it's religious, most people don't. Uh, if this continues in the schools, it's going to kill, he used the word kill, kill any kind of artistic expressions or musical presentations that are even remotely religious. And that's the issue in this particular case. So now we have a decision that says to avoid offending somebody, under the First Amendment, you can cancel free speech. Uh, this is not a right found in the First Amendment. But really dangerous here is the idea that if something's remotely religious, you can't have it in public schools. What would this do? Think about it. When you talk about the Sistine Chapel in a school textbook, Michelangelo's great work of art, it has to be canceled. Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper could not be used. All kinds of the great Renaissance art. Renaissance art from the 14th century on had to be wiped out. Music, think about music. Uh, Bach, all the great composers, Handel, they cannot be used in public schools, even instrumental with no lyrics. You can't play the Beatles' Let It Be because if you know the lyrics of that song, Mother Mary visits Paul McCartney. Uh, you can't have Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin or Living on Prayer of Bon Jovi. Where we're headed in this country in our public schools, we're going to completely destroy culture. We're gutting culture. And who's going to suffer? The children. Uh, most children do not get anything off of television about culture because television is basically devoid of culture. I'm talking about pop culture, great artistic culture. Uh, so what do we need to do here? We need to get some common sense. Uh, just because something has religious content does, mean, does not mean it should be unconstitutional or canceled in the schools. Come on, folks. Uh, kids know the difference, teachers know the difference, and grown-ups know the difference. So what I'm saying is, let's not destroy art and music for the sake of possibly offending two or three people.